September 1st has arrived, and with it, as always, a new trading post reward and set of items. Today, I'll show you a fast day one route to max out your traveler's log for the month and secure that trader's tender and that crusty crawler crab mount. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to the point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. We're starting off in Valdraken where I completed 10 crafting orders that my girlfriend sent me, and I returned the favor for her. There are actually two crafting order tasks this month. One is for completing 5 personal orders, and one is for completing 10 orders in general. So both of these can be done at the same time with 10 personal crafting orders. Afterwards, I flew over to Strunron, the weekly world dragon, and began to take him down. Unfortunately though for me this month, I had to find a group and aggro the dragon myself, which means this was a longer fight than I originally had hoped for. If you can actually come into this fight while he's right about to die and just get the tag, that's ideal for time saving. By the way, in between the remaining tasks that I'll go over, and even from the beginning, make sure to complete as many world quests as you can find en route, because we are going to be completing 15 world quests as a fast and easy way to knock off 150 points. At this point in time, after completing enough world quests, I had enough fragments saved up to complete three Shadowflame crests right on the spot and knock off another 150 points that way. So, as my last world quest, I completed a PvP world quest, which kills two birds with one stone. I was able to group up for it fairly easily, and these PvP world quest bosses aren't very hard to take down, you usually just have to watch out for other players more than the boss itself. So that's two tasks completed at the same time, the 15 world quests and the PvP world quest, and now it's time to head to our final task. Some of you may have guessed it, especially if you've watched my previous videos, but our final task is to win 15 pet battles. I always do this right outside the gates of Orgrimmar, both because there's a bunch of level 1 critters to kill, and because right after I complete this task and finish filling up my traveler's log, I can fly a stone's throw away back into the city and collect my rewards. Now that the final task has been completed, let's collect our rewards and take a look at some of the items that are available in the trading post for September. The Krusty Crawler Mount is our main reward, and it's pretty cool. There's definitely a Krusty Crab reference going on here, but I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. This mount doesn't fly, obviously, nor does it increase swim speed, maybe less obviously. And it walks sideways when you're mounted on it, and you're kind of mounted on it weirdly. I guess it makes sense, but it's weird. Overall though, I like the mount. As for the trading post rewards themselves, there's a whole selection here that's pretty decent this month. While some items are a miss, like the torch and the cleaver, some items are a major hit for me. Slivy, the spirit beast Slyvern pet, is very cute in my opinion, and these class-specific weapon and armor ensembles are awesome. Only a few classes are featured this month though, like Priest, Rogue, and Paladin, but I assume and kind of know that we will continue getting these handed out in future months. I mean, all the classes' full models are already released and have been datamined as well for these sets. So that's all I have for the September trading post for a day one route to get your trading post done quickly and a quick overview of what the highlights of the items were this month. Subscribe so you can catch my day one October route. Thanks everyone for watching and take care.